everyone and welcome to your first AI session. I hope you guys are enthusiastic, energized and ready to get started. Let's begin. The agenda for today is that we're going to start our day by doing some exercise. Immediately after that, we shall take a two minutes break in case we get exhausted. And after that, I shall introduce you to a really interesting AI based tool. I hope you're looking forward to it. Let's begin. I'm sure we all are aware that our brain is divided into two hemispheres, the left and right hemisphere. The left hemisphere of our brain is used to control the right side of our body and the right hemisphere of our brain is used to control the left side of our body. And what's even more interesting is that the left brain is known for its logistic thinking and the right brain is known for its creativity. And in this session, we're going to be testing our creativity. So let's quickly grab some paper and some pen and pencils and let's begin. Now I'm going to play a short video by Mr. Graham Shaw. You'll get to know a little bit more about him while watching the video. Hi, I've got a question for you. How many people here would say they can draw? Well, I think we've got about one or two percent of the hands going up. And it's interesting, isn't it? It's a little bit like um, people think of spelling um, or singing. They think, well, you can either do it as you, or you can't. And, but I think you can. Because when people say they can't draw, I think it's more to do with beliefs rather than talent and ability. So I think when you say you can't draw, that's just an illusion. And today I'd like to prove that to you. Now when I say draw, I'm not saying we're all going to draw like Michelangelo. We're not going to be painting the Sistine Chapel ceiling. But would you be happy if, by the end of this session, you could draw pictures a little bit like this? <laughs> or even a little bit like this? Well, actually, there's only two things you need to do to be able to achieve this. One is have an open mind. Are you up for that? Yes. And two, just be prepared to have a go. So grab a pen and a piece of paper. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. I'll show you the first cartoon we're going to do, so just watch to begin with. Here we go. Just watching. That's going to be our first cartoon. Go ahead and draw along with Mr. Graham. It's a character called Spike. So I'd like you to draw along with me. So I'll draw the first line, you draw, and when you've done that, look up, and I know you're ready for the next line. Okay, here we go. Start with the nose. Now, the eyes, they're like 66s or speech marks. That's it. Next, the mouth. Nice big smile. Now, over here, the ear. Next, some spiky hair. Next, put the pen to the left of the mouth. A little line like that. Pen under the ear. Drop a line like that. Pen to the left of the neck, top of the t-shirt, line to the left, line to the right. Just hold your drawings up and show everybody. Wasn't that enjoyable and interesting? Why don't we try drawing another cartoon character? It looks like you've just learned to draw one cartoon, <laughs> but you've actually learned more than that. You've learned a sequence that would enable you to draw hundreds and thousands of different cartoons because we're just going to do little variations on that sequence. Have a go at this. Draw along with me. Nose. Eyes. Smile. That's it. Now some hair. Pen to the left of the mouth, under the hair, little V shape for the top, 
line to the left, line to the right. Now thanks to Mr. Graham, we are all more confident about our drawing skills. After all that exercising of our right brains, if you are exhausted, let us take a two minutes break. Go ahead and pause your video and take a time out, but quickly come back so we can switch to AI. So what is AI? AI stands for Alien Invasion? No. AI is actually Artificial Intelligence. Intelligence which is known to us all, human beings and animals have intelligence. But robots have Artificial Intelligence, where they study their surroundings and perform a task to achieve their goals. Isn't this interesting? Well, let's see how we're going to learn about a new AI tool that works as AI as a co-creator. So what is a co-creator? A co-creator is where two people join together to perform or create something. So in this video, we're going to learn about how AutoDraw, an AI tool, is going to work as a co-creator. Here's a short video. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through how simple it is to draw using the AutoDraw tool. All you have to do is open your Chrome browser and type in AutoDraw.com. Now you can go ahead and draw anything you like. I'm trying to draw a cake. As you can see, the order draw tool suggests different cakes that I'm trying to draw. I can select any of the suggestions and fill in a different color, whichever I like. I can select the fill option and choose red because I would like a red velvet cake with some white icing and some bright yellow candles. Now I can make this into a greeting card by selecting the T option and typing in the text happy birthday. I can select the selection option and then resize my text to however big or small I like. I can select whichever color I would like my text to look like. And also change the background color. Now go ahead and make greetings, birthday posters or anything you'd like to draw using the AI tool and its suggestions. Go ahead and have fun. Now that you're familiar with the auto draw tool, let's go ahead and draw something a little tricky like the Iron Man mask or a simpler one like the swan, fish, dolphin or a car. Go ahead and pause your video and start drawing. But don't forget to come back quickly because we'll learn a lot more fun things about AI. I'm sure it was very exciting. So here's an assignment. Go ahead and try this out. These are drawings done by many of your friends from different schools. You can do something very similar like this or you can come up with something unique and different. It's your choice. But for now, I want to know, what do you think? AI and Mr. Graham, are they competitors? Option A. Option B, AI is better. Option C, Mr. Graham is better. Or option D, AI and Mr. Graham can work together. I think it's option D. AI and Mr. Graham can definitely work together because when we co-create something, we achieve our full potential. Applications of AI, I'm sure we're familiar with some of them, but what do you think are these applications of AI? Option A, gaming. Option B, intelligent robots. Option C, expert systems. And option D, all of the above. What do you think? I think it's option D. It's all of the above because many games use AI such as chess or even the bot in PUBG. Intelligent robots like the Sophia the robot or option C, the expert systems is nothing but a machine or a software that provides expert advice or even explanation to the user. Here are a few more applications. Do think hard if you will consider these applications as AI applications. Option A is vision system. Option B, speech recognition. And option C is handwriting recognition. Option D is all of the above. What do you think now? It's option D, all of the above. Because vision system is simply means facial or image recognition sometimes helps you unlock your phone. Or speech recognition is simply Google Assistant or Siri that we are all familiar with. 
handwriting recognition is a handwriting recognition software that will recognize your handwriting on a piece of paper and recognize each alphabet and convert that text into editable text all of which is all AI tools now we come to the end of our session and here's a short summary of what we have learned in the beginning, we realized how simple it is to draw with Mr. Graham. And then we were introduced to a really fun AI tool, which is called AutoDraw. Later, we noticed the different applications of AI, which was all really exciting. And now it's your turn to show off your new skills that you have picked up by posting all of your assignments and also the comics that you drew on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But don't forget to tag Robotics. This is it for now. See you in our next video.